nice Seth here again. Ah, I just keep going back on my word, don't I, guys? Um, long story short, well, I can't make this a long story short. And uh, so I was supposed to hang out with a bunch of friends today. And one by one, they all backed out, had other things that, that suddenly just come up that they have to do. Some, some, you know, some people didn't even respond to me. Uh, we're, we're supposed to all hang out and play Street Fighter, but uh, no one showed up. So I got bored, and I hadn't been to Burt's Blades in about a month. Um, for those of you who don't know, Burt's Blades is a pretty large knife store in Warner Robins, Georgia. He's got a lot of cool stuff. A lot of things that you know you can't really find anymore or you know really hard to find so uh check them out so i walked in there with the intention of finding a little budget automatic knife i wanted it out the front but i hadn't had a stiletto you know italian style switchblade in a very long time ever since i was a kid and the ones i had were like really i mean like god awful cheap the the friggin spring was just stopped working after a while it was just horrible so i looked around looked around uh bert wasn't there so his, his wife was running the store and i was like do you have any automatic knives you know send me the trouble from just looking at every single case so she's like we have one left because i bought the microtech clone that they had and that was the one you know the last out the front knife they had so so she showed me this one and i don't like green very much at all but for some reason on this one it's kind of working for me i don't know it's a milano brand uh i did a little research when i got home turns out it's actually a brand um i think it's made in taiwan i'm not really sure uh, i'm pretty sure the steel is 440 um on the website it doesn't really list what it is it just says stainless steel so that's probably what it is uh, but I'll have all the specs and dimensions in the uh, opening of the video. But I really just wanted to show the knife. Uh, it's a decent little, um, decent little switchblade. Uh, safety works just fine. Pushing the button, nothing happens. Uh, I, of course, I sharpened it. Uh, I put it on 120 grit, then 6,000, and I stropped. I just I did a shortcut just to get it to where I want to. I didn't want to go through all the grits tonight, and uh, that seems to work just as well. You know, kind of off the topic of the knife, just grinding it down, getting that shape with the 120 grit, and then going to a like an 800 grit, and then to a 6,000, and then a strop. It just it's faster. It does the same thing. So. Anyway, let me give you guys a little sharpening demonstration, and I'll wrap this up. It's more of a show and tell than anything. Hope you guys can see me. Yes, you can. Nice, got a little play in it. So I pay about twenty five dollars for this. Um, like I said, it's basically just a toy to me. But as you can see, I got it extremely sharp. I guess it would if I had it in front of the camera. I'm kind of bunched up in this chair, so I'm not really doing this thing justice. There we go. There we go. So it's extremely sharp now. Comes with a decent uh, tip point, whatever you want to call it. But a uh, nice little fun piece. They're out of stock online, so I don't know where you could get one. I did give it a little shot at WD-40 just to get that action really, really quick. It's extremely fast now. But uh, yeah, let's see if I can show the point some kind of way. <laughs> it's one handed shit, it's kind of tough. Uh, maybe that'll work. Yeah, so it's got a nice point on it. But all in all, if you want to go, if you had the opportunity to buy one, 
Uh, I paid twenty five for it. It's listed as like twenty six, twenty seven dollars uh, on the website. Uh, the MSRP is supposedly forty. I don't know. I was bored. I wanted something to play with tonight, and uh, yeah, I think I'll enjoy this. You guys have a great one. Peace and say my name. As far as the knife, I give it four out of five stars. You guys have a good one. We'll see you.